Shirley DIY Designer. Today I'm going to show you how to make a console tape out of just things that I had laying around the house. I had this here. This is a painting. Frame that I had got from um, my, you see this canvas and the leftover mirror is the same length. I'm gonna take a piece of this wood. I'm not gonna cut it out. My husband gonna cut it out. And I'm gonna put that underneath my canvas. Fill that in. This is the tricky part. I don't have legs. And I don't have the money to go buy no legs. So you know what I'm going to use? Some cardboard. This is the heavy duty cardboard. It's big and long. This came out of the carpet. We had carpet replaced in one of my son's room. So I'm going to cut this down and make legs. And I'm going to paint it and I'm going to decorate it. The legs, my legs to be. And I figured out I want them to be 27 inches long. So I marked it off. So I'm going to cut that part. Give me 27 inches. Then I'm going to slide it down and cut the other leg. And mark it off 27. So I'm gonna cut those. You can just use the utility knife. It's going very easy because also I use the sauce a little bit to get it started. And there's my leg. Okay, I already painted my legs for the tables. I let them, let them dry. So I went ahead and had my husband to cut out this piece of wood that I was telling you about. And I am going to add it to the bike of the canvas. See how the canvas is, doesn't have anything back there to support it? Cause this is where I'm gonna attach my legs to. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these in and then I'm gonna start working on designing out my legs. It's attached. So that's all I wanna do is mod pod and deco pod. I have both on the table. Mod pod, deco pod. To put the um, cut glass, mirror cut glass that I got from Michaels onto the legs and I have some glitter. It's extra fine silver glitter. You want to be generous with the uh, Mod Pod, uh, Deco Pod. Either one will work. Uh, Taking the cut glass. I'm holding over this box because it's gonna what the sound gonna fall off. And then I'm just gonna apply glitter and go in between. And that's how it's gonna look. A lot of people call them like candy jars. I got it from Dollar Tree. Um, you will need two of these as you're making these legs for the table. So what I'm doing, I'm taking this jar and the opening end of the leg, I'm going to glue it on with E6000. You're going to have to give something to support it until it dries. And another thing, when I did add the cut glass, and uh, silver glitter, fine silver glitter, to the legs. Once they dried, 
I went back over with the decoupage. I did a really generous coat, a decoupage, or if you're using the Mod Podge, you're gonna need to go back over. Once the leg completely dry, you're gonna need to go back over with one of these. Or you can use the sealant, and this is the Mod Podge Super High Shine Clear Acrylic Sealant. You can use it. I'm about to attach the legs. I'm using liquid nail. I already placed my legs where I want them, and I drew a circle around so I know where they, to put them when I get ready to put them down. So here, I'm putting my legs on. I purchased this package of mirror tiles from Amazon. It comes like this because there's a lot of them in there. I'm going to take these mirror tiles and I'm going to put them around the edge of this board. That's going to be the base for the console table. This board I painted it gray and I'm putting mirror tiles around it. It's for the base of my console table. I'm not going to video the whole thing, but I'm going to just take it all the way around the whole board. I'm going to use the liquid nail and the E6000. It's to the canvas. Now, I went back and I painted the outside edges all the way around on my canvas. And I did some painting designs on the canvas on the top. Just something to do. Because I like painting. And so as you see, I applied my liquid nail. Awesome. I'm going to just add it around the edge. Just line it right around. the top here I went ahead and used the liquid nail from where the wood and the frame of the canvas was glued together and I filled in this section and I'm going to apply my mirror tiles. So I'm going to apply my mirror tiles to that so that I know that they're not going to come off, that they're going to stay on. I went ahead and finished the mirror tiles all the way around the console table off camera so that the video will be short. But this is how the tile came out. And this is just a way I'm showing you how I wanted to decorate it when I take it and put it in my other room. But at this time, I figured I'd just show you how it could look 
or you want to add some flowers at the bottom uh, to the top and some candles for your room but um just wanted to share this last little tip with you and please subscribe i need your support i need all my viewers support i need to reach a thousand subscriber and we're around what, 380 at this time so we can get it up to a thousand that will be a blessing for me and my family because my husband work truck caught a fire and he's out of work so if i can get your support i really appreciate it god bless and please remember to go on amazon and order my children book the greedy aphids in the blackberry garden i really really appreciate it if you support me at this time thank you and have a blessing Thank <music> you.